Happy Sunday, you guys, and welcome to a pre-recorded Growing Gratitude. Um, I have some things to talk about, I guess, during gratitude, um, but I am someone who is um, low on spoons at the moment, I'm having some internal struggles right now um, about, I don't know, life, love, happiness, all of those things. Um, and so because I'm someone who's a little bit more awake and have a little bit more energy in the afternoon than I do in the mornings, um, I thought this week in order to be a little bit kinder to myself, I would pre-record gratitude um, and sort of have a relaxing morning instead tomorrow. Um, so that's the plan. That's why we're here. So welcome to Growing Gratitude, the pre-recorded version. <laughs> um, and uh yeah, um, let's get into it, right? So growing gratitude, the concept of it is just that I am very consciously and very publicly making this weekly commitment to talk about the things in my life that I'm grateful for, the things that get me through, the things that um, are, are the little happy moments, right? Um, and all of that stuff. And so that's the purpose of gratitude in an attempt to sort of grow the gratitude in my life as well as um, whatchamacallit, as well sort of inspire you guys to grow the gratitude in yours. So as you might be able to notice, I'm having some sensory struggles right now, getting comfortable in my own skin right now, and I'm also um, having some of those verbal uh, struggles where my mouth is not cooperating with my brain and saying the things that I want it to, where words aren't coming that fast, um, and then um, kind of um, just all of the other challenges that come kind of with my personal brand of autism um, are sort of rearing their ugly heads. So I'm having a lot of sensory stuff. I'm struggling with the words and the things like that. And then, uh, of course, on top of that, I'm, my dyspraxia wakes up and gives me all of its troubles all at the same time. Um, but what I've noticed lately is that my um, mental attitude is really off that uh, it's really negative in there. Um, I'm feeling really tired. I'm feeling um, cranky and like there's just not enough hours in the day or, and at the same time I'm bored. Like I'm, there's not enough hours in the day for me to do everything that I have to do, but I'm also bored with all the things that I'm doing. And I am um, having these moments where um, I am saying words inside my head that I recognize. So things like, I'm so tired, why do I bother? Um, should I even do this anymore? Maybe I'm spinning my wheels. I'm wasting so much of my time. And for no reason, nobody gives a shit. Um, you know, there's other people doing stuff out there that people do give a shit about and in large numbers and I'm not one of them and um on top of that just feeling really bad about myself like I'm sort of useless and a waste of space and I'm feeling really fat and ugly and depressed and um those feelings come from a sense of depletion and I know those feelings and when they are on repeat for more than a day or two at a time um, it, that is my signal that I am headed to burnout, uh, and I know that. So this is what early burnout looks like. Um, and of course, my cat has to fuck with the door while I'm in the middle of this, right? Um, anyway, um, so this is what the beginnings of burnout looks like. This is the highest energy I can muster at this moment. Um, I am really struggling to communicate clearly to Antonio. We're having a lot of little fights and things because I'm really struggling and then I apologize for my struggling and all of those old habits come by um, and stuff like that and so that's sort of the space that I'm in um, and so I know I, I tracked it and I sort of understand where it began for me and that's something that I'm going to talk about on Wednesday when I do being back alive the being back alive live stream um, because I oh, excuse me I can't believe this I will pause Okay, sorry about that. I have no idea what that's going to look like, but that's how it's going out to you guys. Got to let the cat out, right? And I'm just feeling like um, stretched really thin and um, 
yeah so th I, i've sort of figured out i think where the mistakes began that were like a little trickle and then it became a river and soon it was a waterfall and so i want to talk about some of those things because i want people to understand that i still make missteps and that i can still overload my plate um, and I can still push myself to this place that I'm in right now, um, even though I very intentionally do my best to avoid it. So this is one of the, oh, maybe one of a handful, like maybe five times since I've gotten diagnosed that I feel like um, I'm getting close to burnout. Uh, and I have thus far avoided true burnout. And that is my goal. Um, for this little session of whatever is happening right now. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of cut down the things that are on my plate and then I'm going to cancel some appointments and reschedule other things, which I've already done some of, but I need, I, I did it for this weekend, like for the last three days and I need more. I need like a week. So I got to go through and do that. I got to finish up some things that are um, on the top of my head and then I got to do some really fun things and I um, I started to do some of those things and Antonio kind of gets it and so um, I like yesterday I just decided you know it's Friday and I, I just need to be having no appointments and I need to get out of the house and I need like new input from outside in the world and so I went <clears throat> down with Antonio down into Denver and um I wanted like so badly a McDonald's Big Mac and I had a Big Mac and I did little things like returning to my inner self about those things. And so I'm surrounding myself right now with safe foods and um, books that I really are um, not about anything that are just, you know, fiction and, and for pleasure reading. Um, and I am doing my best to do all the other kinds of self-care that I can do. Um, but I, I'm aware that I'm in a precarious place right now. I'm, I'm just aware of it. That's all. Um, and so that is, it just makes it a really weird gratitude, um, to this week because of all of that. And so I, I want to, my gratitudes are really specific this week. Um, I am really incredibly grateful for, um, the people on my, who are in my, like, autism bubble um and and actually for for a lot of for the people in my bubble period you know I posted on um Facebook that I was sort of in this pre-burnout place and I got a lot of really amazing responses from people who just get it um reminding me the things that I know like I need to rest and all of those things reminding me also that I'm not alone in it, that there are a lot of us advocates that feel this way and get disillusioned and, and we don't have as advocates a place that we can vent with other advocates who are doing similar work to what we're doing and it would actually understand um, exactly the positions that we're in and the feelings that we're having, you know, as we deal with big A autism as our jobs, but little A autism is what we've got to deal with on our own, right? So um, I had some responses about that and other people looking for a safe space like that, and that felt really good um, to, to have stumbled upon that um, out of my own discomfort. Um, and I'm also sort of... Um, really grateful for the people that aren't in my autism bubble, but also saw that post and also did their best to get it, did their best to understand what I meant and all of those things and respect it. Right. Um, and that felt really good. So I'm grateful for that. I'm, I'm grateful for, um, again, having built a life where when this stuff comes up, I have a way of functioning around it. Um, and that I'm not, in a nine to five trap anymore because that doesn't work for me those those traps don't work for me um and so i'm grateful for the life that i do have where as this stuff comes up i'm able to take care of myself properly and better and not push through just to survive until i have to quit or get fired right um, i'm grateful for the life that i've created and that i live openly um so that people understand that i'm struggling right now and it and where it's coming from and why and it doesn't come out of nowhere um so i'm grateful for that too and then um 
I think my biggest gratitude though goes to myself. Um, and I don't do this a lot, but I am really grateful and, and what's the right word and humbled and, um, just, I guess a little bit proud maybe, um, that I'm in a place now that I can recognize burnout before it gets here, that I can backtrack it, explain it, know where it comes from and all of that. And no, that doesn't make me feel better. Like it doesn't make the burnout go away and it doesn't um, make me less tired or less any of the feelings that I'm having. Um, but what it does allow me to do is have one less level of negative self-talk inside my head um, because at least I know where it's coming from at least I understand it and I don't feel as broken <laughs> because of it um, but you know it's a reminder to me that I've done a lot of work and that I've grown a lot and I've worked really hard to get here um, and that I don't have to experience burnout this time around the same way that I've experienced it in the past um, that I get to choose to do it differently um, and choose not to go as far down the rabbit hole. Um, so if you have appointments with me or are expecting to be able to make one, it's going to be a little bit of a wait because I got to do some self-care. Um, but um, other than that, um, I hope to be um, a role model for you guys about the reality of living with autism and adulthood, um, that the burnouts don't go away if you don't monitor them, that the balance can be upset, even if you understand how the balance works. Um, and that this, this little, um, hump in my life is a little bit of a reminder that, um, I've grown really far, but none of us are, um, sort of immune to it for the rest of our lives. This whole concept of burnout is something that um, we have to function about for the rest of our lives. It's something that is part of our um, existence. And so um, understanding it better, I'm grateful for my own growth and I'm grateful for the work that I've done for the last 10 years trying to unwrap this stuff. And I'm proud of myself for passing along the knowledge that I've got, um, even though I got it the hard way, you know? Um, so that's sort of where I'm at. Um, and I'm going to stop recording now because all I can do right now is look at the fact that I have picked all my nail polish off because that's where I'm at. And, um, the fact that it looks like I over tweezed my eyebrows again, because I guess I'm having anxiety, but I can't ever get them to be the same shape. And I, I don't know. So I'm going to just say, that's it for gratitude today. It's a weird one. I know it's uploaded. I know, um, it's low energy. I know. Um, but this is my reality. So, um, that's it. Um, what I see to you guys, of course, is that it is my intention with these that I remind you guys to get out there and do your gratitudes. Um, so do them however, quietly, loudly, uh, however, publicly or privately, however, um, you need to do it, um, but take some time to do your gratitudes today, um, no matter how hard they are to find, because we need them, right? Um, and gratitudes and love, because I just can't stop looking over my head at Void and Joe. So there it is. Say hello to, I guess I should go this way. Say hello to Void and Joe. Um, they are my little reminders that people out there are listening. Um, and that's it, I guess. So get out there, you guys, and make sure that you, um, seek joy, create joy, share joy, all the joys, um, and make sure you take care of yourself and you are doing regular monitoring of your plate so that you don't end up where I am. Um, and if you are where I am, know that we get there sometimes and we don't mean it and we know we can do better, but sometimes it happens. And what we need to do is take care of ourselves when it does. So um, that is what I'm about, you guys. I will see you, of course, about um, and out there on the interwebs. Just a quick reminder that this Wednesday is the Wednesday that Self-Defined Living, the live run begins. Um, and then, of course, on February 23rd, I will be doing tackling transitions in the Self-Defined Living seminar series. Um, both of those things have registration open until they have 
happen. Um, but please get out there and register for it. Um, I would love to see you guys there. That's it for me today. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please take a moment to subscribe and thumbs up and hit the notification bell and all those important things that I ask you to do on YouTube because uh, they let me know you're watching. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your Sunday, and I will see you um, back here on Wednesday for the next Being Back Alive. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.